Benefits Reimbursement Program is this Friday at 5 p.m. If you live in Cameron, Willisie, or Hidalgo counties and your home was damaged by flooding in 2018 and 2019, you could be eligible for assistance. The General Land Office was awarded over $137 million for repairs. Homeowners may qualify for reimbursement of up to $50,000 for certain out-of-pocket expenses. For more information, you can call 1-844-893-8937. We're working to learn the name of the man killed after being hit by a car in Alamo. It happened yesterday morning on Tower Road. DPS investigators say the man's body was found in a drainage ditch next to a shopping cart. If you know anything about this incident, you're urged to call 565-7600. Happening today, jury selection is expected to begin in the murder trial for Jesus Saldana Ramirez. Ramirez is accused of stabbing a teen girl to death in Harlingen back in 2020. According to investigators, the body of Alejandra Castillo, who was 15 at the time, was found on Bob Yoker Road. Harlingen police say Ramirez eventually turned himself in after crossing the border into Mexico. Police add he was charged based on evidence and interviews. And in your community news, we all know life can be tricky sometimes, but that's when people from the great community come together to navigate through those tough moments. Absolutely, and Danielle's in studio with uh, our invite to one event that's expected to uplift many of us. Danielle? Yes, good morning, you guys. The Power of Purse Perseverance Conference and Survivor Celebration Luncheon is all of that and so much more. See, this is a women's empowerment event and it's all hosted by Angels of Love with the purpose, of course, of serving as a platform for women who have really gone uh, a goal of growing professionally and, of course, personally. Now, this is their chance to learn from other successful entrepreneurs and businesswomen in the Rio Grande Valley. Plus, they'll get a chance to witness all kinds of special female speakers talk on the very subject. It's going to cover topics like financial literacy, self-worth, healing, health, positive thinking, building credit, leadership, marketing, starting and growing your own business, and of course the power of networking. So lots on the docket for us to be excited about. And if you do go, uh, there's even going to be a featured survivor celebration luncheon, which is just dedicated to any female who's gone on after domestic violence. Now they're going to be able to meet others who have uh, maybe gone through the same thing, plus share their own personal story. And since most women do love purses, there will be a special purse raffle happening on top of a silent and a live auction portion to the events. And Angels of Love is a nonprofit organization that truly serves our Rio Grande Valley community with a free service that really does help domestic and of course dating, sexual assaults, and stalking victims across the Hidalgo County. So, you know, it's just important to honor their work and lend support uh, for their mission by attending this amazing event. Now, as always, our Valley community sticks together, right? So it's it's nice for these women to be respected and honored, celebrated and loved on on that date and beyond. And this is the second annual version of the event, so we can surely do it bigger and better than last year. So mark your calendar for April the 29th. That's this Saturday, you guys, and it's all going down at the Radisson Hotel. You can get your tickets early since there won't be any sold at the door. OK, and all you have to do is call the number right there on your screen. Again, there's music, lecture speakers, motivation, raffle, fun prizes and a whole bunch more. Of course, always for an honorable cause. Uh, so yeah, you guys, a lot going on here. I think it's going to be great. And like I said, good raffles. You may, may, may take home something really nice. Definitely. And obviously this is something that's a big problem in our community, not just here though, all over the nation, I feel. And you know, those domestic violence survivors, you know, it, they need all the resources that they can get. So it's great that these people are coming together to you know, raise mm -hmm. money and provide those resources to let people know there is a way out of these dangerous situations. That's the main thing for women out there and men too, to know mm -hmm. that uh, resources are available in our community. Mm -hmm. You just have to take that step to, to leave a situation which is not easy, but yeah. it can be done. Just know that there is help available. For sure, and a lot of folks, it's kind of hard to actually reach out for help for that initial time there. So it's good to know that there is resources available for that situation. Yeah, yeah. everyone's sharing yeah. each other's stories. Yes. yes, networking is also very important. I gotta say, I don't own a purse. So. <laughs> well, this well, maybe here's time. your chance. <laughs> Here's your chance. There you go. <laughs> Plus live music and food, you guys. This is a big event. Okay, <laughs> great stuff, Danielle. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, we're early voting begins today for the May 6 elections. Voting is happening in several valley cities and school districts. In Brownsville, voters are electing a new mayor and the commissioner at large a seat in McAllen. Voters are electing three commissioners for districts four, five, and six, and two trustees to the 